Hello. Welcome to this video about adding a KVM compute host to your Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager environment. In this video, we will describe the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager KVM compute host and its function in the environment. We will list the hardware and software requirements needed to create a host. We will demonstrate how to first remove a host and then show the steps needed to add a host. Hosts are physical servers which run virtual machines. They are also often referred to as hypervisors. Virtualization by the host is provided using a Linux kernel module called Kernel-Based Virtual Machine, or KVM. Some of the system requirements for hosts include Oracle Linux 7 Update 6 and later, Unbreakable Enterprise Kernel Release 5 Update 1 or later, a 64-bit multi-core CPU with AMD V or Intel VT hardware virtualization, at least 2 GB of RAM, one network interface card with bandwidth of at least 1 GB, and 45 GB of storage on a local writable hard disk. Multiple virtual machines running either Windows or Linux operating systems can be run simultaneously on the host using KVM. Each virtual machine runs as separate Linux processes and threads on the host and are managed remotely by the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. This managed environment usually has many hosts attached to it to distribute the virtual machines built across various servers. Every host in the environment must be assigned to a cluster. In addition to the default data center and cluster created when setting up the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager environment, you can also create additional data centers and clusters. The manager accesses the host using either the root password or SSH public key authentication. Networking for the host can be provisioned by the manager or an external provider. Adding a host to your environment can take some time as a number of steps are completed by the manager platform such as virtualization checks, the installation of packages like Virtual Desktop and Server Manager, or VDSM for short, the creation of a bridge, and a reboot of the host. VDSM is a daemon used to manage Linux hosts and their KVM virtual machine guests. It manages and monitors the host storage, memory and networks, virtual machine creation, and other various administrative tasks. Now let's go to our administration portal for our environment. I have already logged into the portal, so here we are in the dashboard view. In this demonstration, we will first remove an existing KVM host, then add it back again. So, from the dashboard we go to Compute, then Hosts, and this gives us a list of the current hosts available to us. In the demonstration, some information will be hidden or blocked from view for security reasons. Before we can remove a host, we must place it into maintenance mode. So we select the host we want to remove by clicking on its row in the table. In this case, I'll remove the host OVS025. Then clicking on the management dropdown, we select maintenance. We get a dialog asking, are we sure we want to put this host into maintenance mode? So we click OK. And this removes it from the list. We still need to remove the host, so let's go back to the dashboard. And we'll do the removal from there. On the dashboard at the top, there is a box for hosts and we can see an orange triangle beside the number one, which tells us there is a warning for one of the hosts. If we click on the warning, it shows us the host we just put into maintenance mode, and we can now remove it by clicking on the remove button. We get a dialog confirming, are we sure we want to remove the host? So we click okay, and that's the host removed. So to show how to add a host, we will add the same host back again. We'll do it from the dashboard, so let's go there. In the box at the top for hosts, we click on the number of hosts, in this case it says three hosts, but the dashboard is not yet refreshed, so even though there is only two, because we removed one, it's showing us three. But if we click on the three, it brings us to the list of hosts, and here we can see there is only two hosts listed. To add a host, we click on New. It opens a new host dialog. Here there are a number of configuration tabs on the left, with it defaulting to the General tab. On the right, the settings for the general tab, so we start here. Hosts must belong to a cluster, so we choose the cluster from the host cluster dropdown. In this environment, I will select non iSCSI storage cluster as the cluster name. It defaults to the data center that this cluster belongs to. Next, we give our host a name. As I'm adding back the one that I just removed, I will use the same name again, OVS025. I will add a comment about the host for reference. In this case, I just say KVM host. Then I must give the host's fully qualified DNS name. Some name information is hidden for security reasons.
For this host, when the manager engine accesses the host, it will do so using the root user and password. We could set up an SSH public key for access instead, but here I will simply give the root password. With these basic settings, I click OK. One of the other settings I could have configured is power management, but I chose not to here. So a dialog is shown asking me to confirm if I want to continue without configuring power management. I'm happy to do this, so I click OK. The host is now being added to the environment, with a number of checks being made before the host is available. We can see the host being added if we click on the Tasks button. If we click on the Events and Alerts button, it opens a notification drawer defaulting to showing alerts. We then select Events, and we can see the different stages of the adding process for our host. When the host is added, we get a pop-up notification telling us the manager has finished adding our new host to the cluster. So let's close the notification pop-up and the notification drawer and go back to the dashboard. In the hosts box, we see a count of three hosts. And if we click on this, it brings us to the host list where we can see our new host, OVS025, listed again. In this video, we described the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager host and its function in the environment. We listed the hardware and software requirements needed to create a KVM compute host. We demonstrated how to first remove a host and then show the steps needed to add a host. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to find out more about this subject and others. You can find documentation on Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager at the link shown there is a comprehensive Oracle Linux curriculum available to support a full range of Linux administration skills for cloud, on-premise, and hybrid users. For more information or to get started on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, go to cloud.oracle.com. And for more training on Linux on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, go to the link shown here. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.